The head of the security firm G4S admitted today that its failure to deliver on the Olympics contract was a humiliating shambles. Nick Buckles said he was deeply sorry about the fiasco that's resulted in the emergency deployment of 3,500 members of the armed forces. And he said he's willing to consider paying bonuses to both military and police. Claire Sadler has more. The riddle of where to home the majority of the 3,500 extra military personnel called in to bolster security at the Olympics seems to have been solved. This former tobacco factory in London's Docklands has come out on top in the rush to be ready for the opening ceremony. In order to make this place habitable for the troops, it needs to be fitted with toilets, kitchens, beds and general supplies. It doesn't have to be four-star luxury, but the Defence Secretary has promised that it will be reasonable accommodation. So you can see there is still some way to go yet. Nick Buckles, who was given a rough ride by the Home Affairs Select Committee today, said the cost of putting up the personnel would be covered by his company. Are you paying for the, the additional military? that have, have had to be brought in? Yes, we are. You're paying all their costs? Yeah. And are you paying for accommodation for those people? Uh, yes. And under pressure, the G4S boss said there could be an extra payment for those drafted in at the last minute. So you will consider a bonus. They have to tell you a figure. It's whether, it's simplistically, who do you pay the bonus to and for what reason? Right, but you're happy in principle to, to pay them, but in answer to Lorraine Forbrook, you will pay the, the police and military bonus depending on... What to the individual police and military personnel? Particularly the military personnel that have had to come off leave and work on the Olympics. But police Nick Buckles also revealed today there are just over 4,000 employees currently working on the Games for G4S. That should hit 7,000 by the time the Olympics kicks off. But as that's in just 10 days' time, it begs the question, could even more military personnel be called upon to plug the gap? Claire Sadler, Forces News, London.